Of the 400,000 expected visitors to the ECA, 10,000 are already on site. Most of those are of the four-legged variety like Diva here, a steel grey thoroughbred. You are just beautiful, aren't you? Echo wouldn't be the same without the horses, and Thoroughbred Day is a crowd favourite. Thoroughbred Day is, in, in brief, is a showcase for ra the racing industry, really, and it's something to show the public what happens to gallopers when they're finished racing. We also have racing classes here for horses that are actually still in work, still winning races. So probably today you've got more than $10 million worth of horses parading around this arena. The horses don't just roll out of the stables looking like this. What are the tricks of the trade to getting them show ready? Uh, lots of good feed, lots of good work and a lot of grooming. Um, they're brushed daily, rugged, uh, fed really good feed um, and then obviously they're washed and because he's grey we wash him with purple shampoo just like when you've got blonde hair you wash your hair with purple shampoo. Get I use purple yellow. shampoo too, <laughs> we've got so much in common. It's essentially bone structure. Could I just say it's probably like judging a movie star. You're looking for something that jumps out at you immediately, you see it, wow, look at that. Correct in the legs, nice head, great conformation, the way it moves, its behavior, all of that comes into it. And um, I, th I think that probably a lot of the judges, when they, they see a horse walk into the ring, the first thing they look at is their head because if a horse has a really good head, they're usually intelligent, and that most good race horses are also um, good show hacks. Thoroughbreds need to go fast, really. <laughs> That's what they do, go fast, but look beautiful doing it. That's what we want. Um, my example of a thoroughbred is a supermodel on the catwalk, very refined, sleek, tall, long leg, and gorgeous. Well, a win at the ECA allows the competitors then to go out to the public and say, I've won at the show, you should breed from my mare. It also puts value onto the resale of that particular horse. So it's a sort of a win-win situation for everybody, us and them.